Good evening. With the federal election set for Monday, those with their names on the ballot have just a few days left to make their final pitch to voters. A town hall in Humber River, Black Creek, offered residents a chance to hear from local candidates on issues directly impacting them. But the turnout was a bit disappointing, not because of the lack of attendees, but rather a poor showing from those invited to speak. People want jobs. People want affordable housing, fair wages. One in five children lives in poverty. And Humber River Black Creek has the highest rate of child and family poverty in Toronto. At the Black Creek Community Health Centre near Jane and Finch, a full house tonight, as residents got a chance to speak directly to some of their local federal candidates. What is your plan to help with creating more affordable and accessible housing. We spend $26 billion on the defense budget. We buy Navy ships, but we don't have housing. How come that's not being discussed in this federal election? What we do is we make housing human right, like it should be, like everyone needs a place to sleep. And we'd appoint a Minister of Housing to strengthen a national housing strategy. I think it's one of the most important things in the planks in the, in the platform, 500,000, quality, affordable homes across the country to start. Immediate relief for renters, for tenants who need help now with a rental benefit of up to $5,000 a year. The format, an open town hall with questions coming from community members. Yeah, we want to, you know, help uh, with money, but we also want to be treated as equal citizens. Five of the candidates in this riding accepted the invitation to participate, one of them a familiar face. Maria Ajimeri was the former city councillor in this neighbourhood but lost her seat last year when Premier Ford downsized Toronto Council from 47 to 25 wards. But noticeably absent at the table, the Conservative candidate, who confirmed but never showed, and the incumbent Liberal MP. Last minute, um, Judy Scrove um, let us know within like 30 minutes before the event started that she will not be attending. Um, we're not quite sure what happened to the other gentleman, um, <laughs> but invitation was extended to everyone. The longtime MP made headlines last week for her comments on a radio program in response to Justin Trudeau's blackface photos. Those in the black community have told me that how much more love they have for the prime minister, that he wanted to have a black, but he took great pride in that too. I've never heard nothing more silly from a lady who is from somebody who's an MP and is in a federal position. Judy Scro later apologized, calling her comment insensitive. But some here say she missed an opportunity to make things right. It does speak volumes to not have her present. This is the time for her to answer the questions, the hard, tough questions. And if she's not here, it's, it's, it's disappointing. Meanwhile, the Green candidate, the NDP, and the Marxist-Leninist candidate took the opportunity to show residents they do have other choices come October 21st. The public all expect. And there were no shortage of topics residents wanted to speak about. Definitely gun violence in the Jane and Finch community um, and along with that police brutality. I think our Canadian government has to do much more on immigration and allowing more people into the country. Oftentimes, community like ours is sometimes overlooked because people believe that we are not voting. But people are trying to find candidates that resonate with them, that are concerned with the issues that they're concerned with.